many things that we're very happy about today. First of all, just the fact that it is a daytime Emmy show, honoring so many people who do work so very hard. And also that we have a beautiful day. You should have been here yesterday. And finally, we may not be the best award show in the year, but we are the first award show that's going to go off on time. <laughs> Fortunately, we have some time to talk a little bit just informally. Dennis James, you started in 1938. What was it like? What were uh, you like? You must have been three. Yes, I was. I was very, very young, and it uh, was a very what interesting thing. I was in radio, and Dr. Dumont, and my brother was with them, said, look, we want to do some television. I'd never heard of it even before. I always thought the television, you know, was call on a telephone. They can see you make the call. So I did a show called Television Roof, where I used people like Frank Sinatra and personalities from radio to come on and do it and a 15-minute show called uh, The Sports Parade. And then the first daytime game show that I ever did was a thing called Beef Steaks and Cash and Carry. Did everybody think you were crazy then that it was never going to make it? Well, I, I would say to the performers, you know, like the Pied Pipers, yeah. you know, come on on my television Nobody's show, watching. nobody's going to see you anyhow. Yeah. You know, that was the idea. And then many yeah, years later, everybody said how lucky you were to start yeah. so early. Is that, that's why you keep working, because you signed a, a lifetime contract in 1938. Huh? I wish that were true. <laughs> it's been 13 week cycles since 1938. No, I'll bet I wish that were true, because with each cycle, the salary goes up and up. But you know, when we talk about the, the length of time, it's because the audience is, is so loyal and because the programs are so good. 23 years <laughs> for Search for Tomorrow. The lovely thing that happened is, Barbara, every place I go now, because uh, I, I get to travel for the first time, they let me out. Well, my kids grew up, so that got me out of the house. Great big, tall football players and lovely young women with small tots come up to me and say, I've been watching you since I was a little girl. So it's, it's like three generations. What, when you began, what, Mary, what, what, what were you then, 23 years ago? You know, Younger. You... <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the high school ingenue, probably. Well, the way I count now, yes, I can't even afford high school. Uh, it was lovely. We made up the rules as we went along. All of us did. We had no sets. Uh, a lot of people here must remember those days. Oh, I remember. Take us backstage. Maybe you're not supposed to talk about this, but so what? Sure. Do you, do you have cue cards? Do you have to memorize most of it? How do you do it every day? You have to memorize all of it. Um, I cheat. Uh, you, right nobody will tell. Yeah. Well, yeah, anything. Uh, the stage hands, they don't anybody bend over if Mary's in the region because she'll write on anything that comes around. Yeah, I write key words for myself. But most of it's in your head. Yeah, it has yeah. to be. Uh, you can't, you know, there, there's that awful scene when somebody says, I uh, love what, you. What, what? Yes. You know, what, I'm sorry, I'm not ready for you yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you really have to know it, and that's not too hard. Well, Mary, it is it's such a distinguished group. I am so proud to be part of daytime, and there's one of the ladies I'm. Uh, I was just going to say, Mary, Mary Pickett, who was done Broadway, who won an Emmy last year. Yes. Is it the hot? first one ever? Yeah. That's, I, that's what we said in our introduction, which made us particularly proud. We can all stand huh? and talk together. Well, uh, they talk about doing Broadway. Is this harder, easier? I think this is infinitely harder. Really? I think that you. Uh, from an acting point of view, I love it because, in a sense, you can't anticipate. You really have to do what they tell you in drama school, which is one moment at a time. And I know Agnes Nixon, who has created our show, created many, many other things. Every once in a while, we started us. Yeah. That's right. And Ag and I are quite good friends. And every once in a while, she'll look at me and she'll say, "Don't you really want to know what's going to happen?" And I say, "No. <laughs> don't Absolutely tell not. anybody. Don't tell me because uh, I think this is part of the." interesting thing about the craft mm -hmm. is working moment to moment. Well, the beautiful thing that we also have, because there are some really beautiful actors, and they, as you say, there are only actors. They're not nighttime, daytime, any kind of actors. <coughs> but daytime actors have not the time to rehearse it and set it. It has to happen that moment, and it does. And the audience shares it with us, because they're in between. Mm -hmm. I want to take a little time to go through you other bet. people in the audience. We're sort of skipping around in our, in our table hopping today. And she starts daytime. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.